Hey pals, why the skill of unlearning is just as important as skill of learning this time. We all put pressure on ourselves and our teams to always be learning, always looking for a new skill, always signing up for a new class or going to a conference or booking a meeting with some expert, watching videos like this. We're always in the mode of learning. And one of the things in order for us to learn, one of the things that we need is the ability to unlearn things that are no longer serving us. So what do I mean by that? As times change, we need to adapt to the change, right? But if we keep learning new skills, all we're doing is piling the new right on top of the old. But in order for us to actually get better, we need to unlearn those things from the past. That way we can move on with the new in the future. This is often looked at when you hear the phrase, well, we've always done things this way. We get stuck in this loop that things are always static. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that we don't change over time, but there's a core center that is static that we always just build on top of. But that static core isn't true. It's always moving. And it could be our outer world, the things that we experience, or it could be our worldview on how we look at things. So some examples of things that you would unlearn would be always measuring people on the volume of work that they do by how much time they spend at their desk, not the total output that they create. That's a topic of big discussion in the modern office because it's not necessarily about how much time you just spend at your desk. And if we're stuck in this loop of always thinking that, well, statically, how much time I see you at your desk equals how much work you must be performing, we know that not to be true. But in order to learn the new skills, to learn async work, to learn remote work, to have distributed teams, we need to unlearn the things that we have acquired through our experiences over time. So those experiences have been in the past when everyone was in an office, when everyone worked in the same pod, when your previous manager or your previous boss measured how effective you were at your job based on the amount of time that you spent at your desk. We need to unlearn those things. And you need to ask yourself when you come to a scenario, why do I think this is true? What are my past experiences that led me to this moment? You need to ask yourself that and wonder, how did I get here and what past experiences and what have I done in the past that have led me to think this way? Okay, what can I shed and then learn something new? That way I can actually be able to move forward. So when you're asking yourself those questions, why do I interpret this to be true? What are the past experiences that have led me to this point? Once you're starting to get into that mindset, you have three options that you can do when you're encountering any sort of change that you might have to face or something that you might want to change. One is you just have to accept it. It is what it is. There's nothing that we can do about it. There's no way that we can change it. You just need to accept it. And that's a big step for you as a leader and in your professional life is by accepting it. What you're saying to yourself is, is that I'm letting go of emotional attachment to this. It just is. I need to stop trying to change it. I need to stop trying to invest in it. I need to just embrace that it is. There's nothing I can do about it. This is just the way that it is. Once you do that and you stop trying to affect change on something that you cannot change, it's going to be a big relief for you, big moment for you to be able to let go of a lot of stress because now you know you don't have to try and fight this thing. You don't have to try and swim upstream. It just is. Option two that we have is to look at it from a different perspective. Now, in my mind, this is relearning. This is an unlearning. This is relearning. When you look at something from a different perspective, you would see how other people use the same tools that you do or how they might experience something differently than you are. For example, if you're trying to incorporate accessibility into your marketing, you need to be able to view it from the other person's perspective that you're trying to add the features for. You need to change from your worldview being like this to a different angle where it's now like this. And you can now be able to take a step forward on that by changing your perspective. You're not changing the tools. You're changing your approach. You're changing the way that you use it. You're changing the way that you see things. 
That way you can affect change. So you're gonna relearn how to send email, how to write web pages, how to make videos. You're gonna relearn how you're going to do that because you now see it from a different perspective on how people consume that content or interact with your marketing because you've now changed your perspective. The third option is that you could fire it. And this is where we get into unlearning. These are the old ways. These are the ways, the way things have always been is that we need to fire those things and we need to fire them so that we can acquire the new skills going forward. And the example of that is our remote work and async and distributed teams. You can't force the old way of doing things with the new way in the future. You can't force measuring how effective someone is by how much time they spend at their desk when your team is distributed. You can't force everything needs to be in a meeting when your team is all remote. You can't force these things for the old ways that things have been done by just piling on the new. What you have to do is you have to unlearn those skills that brought you to this point, those experiences that you had, you need to unlearn those. That way you can learn the new way. You can learn making videos and sending it to your team. That way they can watch it when it's best for them instead of having a meeting. You can learn how to better structure emails. That way you can have better communication at when your team needs to be able to consume it. You could change the way you do Slack messages, not anticipating that someone is waiting for your message at the other end, instead knowing that I can schedule this when I know that they're going to be in the office and not disrupt their time when they're supposed to be away from work. You can't do those things if you're still holding on to the old way. You need to unlearn those skills in order for you to be able to accept what the new is. So unlearning is a very, very critical part of your learning process because you can't learn those new things unless you're able to shed the old. By choosing to fire it, you're putting yourself into a new mental model. You're now going to be looking at things at, from a new approach. Instead of here's the way it was, what approach out there fits this worldview that I have or this approach that I have trying to figure out where this peg will fit. If you get rid of it, you will be able to go then find the new way without the cumbersome weight of the old way still trying to force that to fit. That's why it's really critical to unlearn that, that way your eyes and your perspective and your viewpoint will be receptive to new things and then you'll be able to go out there and learn it. So that's what I got this time. I would love to know, what do you need to fire? What do you need to get out of your life? That way you can start to embrace the new. What are the old ways, the old things that you need to unlearn? That way you can actually move forward with the new way of doing something or be able to learn that new skill. What can you unlearn? I'd love to hear those things. Leave a comment below wherever you're watching this video. You can get me on Twitter at Dom Corvo or on LinkedIn. Same thing at Dominic Corvo. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you are going to fire something and unlearn those skills. That way you can learn the new skills and the way that business is going to be in the future. That's what I got this time. See you later.